let me see let me see we should be going yes. live soon all right we're live welcome to the three marketer show this is me i'm your host jason we have manfred andrew and we have chunyan here see the handsome face this is totally not hey. like one of, any one of us right so basically welcome, <laughs> in, welcome in. thank you <laughs> this is episode 22 now you know manfred just read the number just now it's really amazing how we actually started many months ago and now where we are uh, we have been interviewing awesome people about digital marketing and today we have Chun Yen here. Chun Yen, Chun Yen is a very interesting guy that I met along the way just a few months ago where, you know, the moment he told me that he is really in this personal, no, not just personal fitness coaching, uh, you know, later I will let him reveal his specific niche about, you know, what he does and all that. But fundamentally today what we're going to learn from Mel, uh, Chun Yen here is really how he actually turned around. Uh, from the pandemic because all we know that a pandemic is really hitting uh, has hit a lot of uh, so-called businesses and one of them I definitely believe that you know the personal personal coaching or personal training industry has been hit as well because gym cannot open a lot of stuff cannot happen and all that right so how Junyan turn things around okay what did he do and uh, what are the techniques that he played but of course you know we will see how 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 generous he is today in terms of revealing the, the so-called the secret behind it because we were just talking about the secret. There's so much secret at the back. And, you know, seriously, it's like so much golden nuggets. And let's see what we can actually grab from him today. But Chun Yen is a very niche, uh, you know, he is in a very niche fitness coaching. But I don't want to tell it, uh, you know, I don't want to tell it. I want Chun Yen to tell it, you know, what, what, what is your niche, Chun Yen? You know, give us a bit of an introduction about you. Uh, what is your niche? How did the pandemic hit you and how did you turn around? Just a brief one, you know, just just maybe, yeah. All right. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, Jason, uh, for having me in the show. It's an Jason honor. is my, my Sifu for <laughs> Facebook advertising. And I also uh, want to shout out to Andrew. He's my mentor in copywriting. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and hi, Manfred. Uh, I have been listening to your advices uh, since this show started. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you and give amazing, <laughs> you give amazing point of view, and you, you change my perspective towards uh, marketing and advertising. Yeah, well, your words are very kind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Immediately, all everybody got head already. Right? Like, wow, what's up? What's up? When your head all coming. The oh, the uncut yeah. uncut already. Suddenly, your oh, face so high, so light. Right? <laughs> well, I need to move the camera along. You know, you. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, for me, I I wouldn't say I'm a personal trainer. Okay. Because uh, I would say that I, I run a personal training business because I have a team of trainers working with me, uh, sort of like a, the uh, marketing arm, marketing and sales arm, uh, bringing in clients uh, into uh, my programs. So we offer programs. And my niche, I serve... Um, ladies, right? Only. Check it out. Check it out. Only, only ladies. Yeah. Listen, huh? Actually, only, wait, only, <laughs> only ladies. Um, and I serve plus size ladies, or plus size uh, ladies, plus size ladies, or any lady who who wants to lose weight. So yeah. only this niche, only uh, correct. This niche. Not Sorry. just, not just, not just to lose weight. You know, the other day you were telling some horror story about, you know, they were facing some issue already. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, you want me to go into that extent? So I don't um, mind my, if you guys don't niche, mind. Late night show, kids won't be listening to this anyway. My niche is actually uh, ladies that are uh, so heavy to the point where they they need to do uh, weight loss surgery. Mm-hmm. Like uh, and like here we have bariatric surgery, we have yep. uh, uh, gastric sleeve and all that. So uh, my target is to penetrate into these people, and technically my competitors are weight loss surgeons. So I want to advocate. I want to advocate, and I want to prove to uh, Malaysian audience, uh, specifically Malays. 90, 99% of my clients are Malay female clients. Uh, and I believe that they need help the most with uh, nutrition, exercise, uh, weight loss, lifestyle management, weight management, food management, mindset. Uh, this is where they, they, they lack the most. 
and they they have been so uh, choked up by by different kind of market uh, marketing about products that are absolutely bullshit. Mm. They're yeah. not gonna work. Yeah, they're not, they're not working. So they, by the they, way, hmm? the bariatric surgery is about thirty five thousand. Correct. So you charge Correct. about about the same, huh? <laughs> so, so one of my sales uh, my sales punchline would be: Today, you join this program, I help you to reduce. Uh, I have you to save up two third of your cost to solve a ah, problem. So you only one third. Wow. So, so kind yeah. Of <laughs> With yeah. no long term effects. No oh, effect no. at all, right? All these long term effects. You no. lose weight. How bad is that? Yeah. If you do surgery, really outside effect. No long term, no long term effect. It will be a yeah. sustainable long term result. So you, do, yeah. you only get better when you continue. Ah, uh, Manfred, it's not for you, lah. But you got question, I'll ask. Uh, yes, I Manfred. <laughs> I'm curious, ah. Uh, yeah. Your target audience, are uh, how big, uh, in Malaysia, roughly, lah. You talking about size, uh, uh? Size, uh, roughly, eh. what, thirty thousand, fifty thousand, uh, roughly. Um, first, I will go from. Uh, aga, aga, can already. No need to be too. Maybe, maybe six, fifty percent, fifty percent, fifty percent of Malaysian population. Malaysian Malaysian population, correct, right? Fifty percent of Malaysian population. Because that's why you say. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's you know, how many? Huh? That's fifty. In, fifteen million. In Malaysia, right? Malaysia, which uh, Malays are the the largest group. Yeah. In Malaysia, totally, totally agree. So when I target these people it's up to how i can reach them yeah i don't have a limit 15 million uh, one five million uh, roughly there yeah because because his his niche is really not about because chunyan is going into a very specific niche already you know it's not just about weight loss and all this kind of thing he actually combines a few things together he's like making it into a very specific boot camp kind of program so it's so, so he, yeah and he's holistic and he's approaching I mean, this is actually very much related, resonating to what we actually learned from Kenny last week, right? Mm. Talking about niching in, you know. And this is the guy that I I know that niched until to that extent that I told. I cannot imagine. The first mm. time he came to my class, I was like, serious? This is the thing that you do? And But the more I, we find out about it, right, the more we realize that sometimes it's really our mind that is stopping us from, you know, uh, accepting the fact that, in fact, our market is actually quite big. Yeah, very big. It's very big because at the end of the day, uh, it is not just people who are facing the weight issue, but also people who believe that they, they are in the weight issue. So, so I would say Chun Yen is having a very good mindset here where he actually thinks that his, his market is actually limitless. And the only problem that he has over here is that, you know, how many people that he can reach and deliver the message in the right way. And, and, and of course, his capacity, la, you know, how many trainers he has. How many, and then how many clients that he can take in right now? So, you know, how so many clients you can I, reject? When I have, when I have this mass of demand, I only need to create urgency and I will select those who qualify to join my program. I select them by candidate. You well, need to qualify for us to train you. <laughs> if you come in, you tell me you can't do this, you can't do that. Sorry, you're not fit for my program. So do you, so, do you reject people halfway? Meaning that I when do. you come in, you know, it's like you go la. Because what's the point of taking them in, taking them money when I can help them? That's a very good thought. That's and it will affect my name. True. It will affect yeah. my name. I, long, I, I, want be, you also. I want to be a result. Uh, uh, I want to be known as the coach that can deliver amazing result. And I don't. I wouldn't want any individuals that come into my program to join the three months, pay me the money, and say this course doesn't work. So, so I. This is what. This is the uh, the direction and the 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 approach that I go. Yeah. Did did all this direction thing started you know from the very beginning, or you actually kind of change course during the pandemic? Did you, or is it all the same? All the while, it's the same thing. Uh, this this approach has been the same uh, ever since I started. Uh, because you know, when I, when I started out, I didn't start off with uh, that much of marketing concept, and then so much of clarity, so much of um, detailing in the avatar and the niche and the approach and and uh, uh, you know how to conduct this. But I always knew in my mind that uh, if I wanted to be a coach, 
I must be a, a, a person because so many co trainers in Malaysia. Yeah. So many trainers in Singapore. So many trainers in Indonesia and in Hong Kong. So I want to be a, 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 a trainer. I want to be known as a trainer of, or a coach that uh, is known for drastic transformation. When you come into this program, it's impossible. You will not get result unless you don't follow. And I will eliminate you not following because you won't come into my program in the first place if I detect you. If you have that character that is not fit for, or you have you release some kind of energy that I think you 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 won't click with me, then I won't take you in. That's that's a very commanding uh, <laughs> so-called way in. I I, I yeah. totally agree. I totally agree. Do it. I mean, in in a way, I also actually select my 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 coaching batch as well. You know, I I, I will only invite my. The, the people that I believe that I can work well, you know, yeah. to receive the email when I open my coaching. So that's how the whole thing works. I totally agree with you. But, but yeah. Chunyan, how does the, what do we call, how, how, how did the pandemic Correct. Uh, affect Thank you? you. Did, it, did it affect, did it so, not? So, uh, like I said, uh, so it has been the same direction, but when the pandemic happened, uh, I changed my method of delivery. Okay. I changed so my method. That, how did you do? Before that, um, they will contact me on the on the on my platforms on my social media platform, and then they'll get the contact number. Then we okay. we fix an appointment. Uh, okay. We fix fix an appointment. When we are face to face, we have a chat, a consultation. Okay. And then they will decide whether they join this program or not. All right. They, they will see the plays, see the training, or explain to them all the explanations. And they will hesitate also, right? They need time to think correct. over it. Correct, yeah. correct. So, but when the when the pandemic happened, all the gyms closed in Malaysia. Yeah. Closed. You still need to go to gym to conduct your training, right? You don't own a gym at the moment, right? I don't own a gym. Okay. So, okay. so when the pandemic happened, number one, gym closed. Number two, nobody would want to contact uh, a trainer knowing that Gyms are closed. What's the point of contacting uh, yeah, a trainer? Yeah, you can't do anything, right? In a yeah, way. you can't do anything. So everyone was quiet. Everyone was just everyone was just down, and then you know, uh, nothing they could do. You know, people they were just waiting for the news to to announce that you know the gym will open again. And fast forward one year later, today we are still in MCO. What the heck? <laughs> the difference is the <laughs> difference is I already or... during during the pandemic. I saw Jason's ad. <laughs> told me about told me about Facebook marketing, Facebook advertising, okay. and I went in. Honestly, that was a turning point. That was the first turning point of uh, my personal training uh, business because I start to get exposed to a more aggressive way of reaching out to people instead of waiting for people to come to me. So before that, you, you you I did pick up a very important thing here. Before that, you were waiting for people to come to you. So you, you it was purely organic. Yeah, yeah. Not even, yeah. Not even Google Ads or something. No, uh, it purely was, organic, it was, and you can was, bloody sustain and grow your business like that. Yeah, power man. <laughs> <laughs> your organic, I said. Do you do any blog or YouTube video? Ah, I exactly. only do. How do you do that? How do you do that? I only do uh, Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Cool. Wow. I started to share what are the activities that you do. I think this will be the cheese that a lot of people can actually, you know, maybe uh, not 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 into the very detailed lah. You know, okay. of course, say whatever you can say lah. Uh, I started off uh, with a new account, a fresh new account, with maybe fifty okay. to two hundred followers. Business or new. creator account? Uh, it's a, it's a personal account. Personal actually, account from more. Actually, Benfred yeah. doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't advertise. Oh, yeah. If you advertise it, in business or yeah. personal. even personal so, account, also you can advertise. Yeah. Okay, right. But yeah, I no started reason. off started off uh, maybe about four years, two years ago. Two years ago. Personal okay. account with zero zero audience, zero clientele base. I never work in a gym. I never been a, a personal trainer in any fitness uh center. I so don't have contacts. You just wake yeah. up to the calling and say that you bloody want to do this out of sudden. What Ex the heck? Exactly. But the difference is I, I was a bodybuilder. So I was All actually right. in yeah, competitive yeah, yeah, yeah. bodybuilding. So you have some background. Uh, but when I, when I, when I, the background is in knowledge, but not mm. in marketing, mm, not right. in the social media base, not in the Instagram base. No, nobody. So what were you doing? 
Um, let me bring up your 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 Facebook, your so, Instagram. What were you doing? Share with us. So the first thing I did was I told myself I need to look for one client. Okay. I need to look for one, one client through a re- my friends or my referrals, one client. And then I, I told that client to give me the time that I need to deliver the result to her. Hmm. So okay. when I did it, I documented the progress. I documented and they allow you to do that. She, she allowed. I, I, that was part of the deal. Okay. Yeah, I told her you must allow me to do it because I'm going to use your success story to promote my service online. So she allowed it. So I, okay. I took three months and she went from 80 kilos to 62 kilos. Oh, and um, she, she looked power. amazing. She looked amazing. And then I used the uh, documents to 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 promote it and I and I and I just drip release those those contents and then write some content, write some uh, copy and the caption, and then DMs just start coming. Just like that. So how did this spread? Did you, did you monitor that? Did you monitor how did this spread? What was the it, tipping point? So it, it, it spread from that first client because that, when she when she trained with me, she also posts a story. Right. She also from oh, this is my coach. Oh, this is what we're doing. Look at the result. And then people are seeing her change. People are noticing her transformation. She people she, see the transformation. Yeah. First thing was, what do you do? I also want uh, from XL. She went. She went from XL to S size. Holy! <laughs> she fit into a skinny, skinny jeans for the first time in her life. And when she went for uh, a social gathering, all of her friends uh, uh, commented on her on her physique and said, "Who's your coach? Who's your coach? Who's your coach? Who's your coach?" And that time, I knew nothing about Facebook marketing. I knew nothing about a uh, website. I have zero cost to build a website. I have zero cost to, to buy a, a, a coaching course. And from there, uh, they use my Instagram. They follow me. 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 And then celebrities start coming in. Artists start coming in and they promote me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, sure. the very first question I wanted to ask is why you choose Instagram instead of YouTube? Because if I were in your position, I will, I will mm-hmm. most likely film the training also. Because, uh, because uh, YouTube is it's a, it's an informative platform. Mm-hmm. But to me, I want the fastest way to get referrals. I agree with Chunyin's method approach here because I think you see last week, uh, Kenny also mentioned that fa- uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram are actually more instant. And uh, the instancy is a very important thing because when you're on Facebook and Instagram, right, you're on a more leisure mode, you know, you're you more willing and open to, to, to browse information and you like to see something visual. But, you know, when you go to YouTube, then you're already intentional to look for something. But the problem here is this, you know, a lot of times, right, especially for your niche, uh, Junyan, yep. people don't look for a solution. They, will, they want to see the result first, then they will start thinking, what would this happen to me if I do this? You know, but, but the whole thing, the whole process is what I actually learned from our conversation earlier is that it doesn't happen instantly. What they do is that they will follow you first. So you, I think the whole idea here is to actually get people to notice and follow. But Chunyan managed to do it in a very rapid way whereby, you know, he, he, he found a very, very important thing, which is what we can take away over here for those who want to build something is you document. So Instagram and Facebook makes it very easy for us to document this kind of progressive kind of thing because you don't need a bloody camera and all that, you know, all the likes and all to do the, all these things. You just need to, people can see that you're bloody working hard, you know, and people can see how you're working with these people. People can immediately see that, you know, if you want to do before and after, it's instantly, it's not very much on the thing. Mm. Yeah. Correct. And we yeah. can share also. Yes. Uh, that IG, is Correct. send it to someone. Yes. YouTube, and the shareability. Yeah. Difficulty, shareability itself. Uh, so, just to so sidetrack a bit, uh, yeah. just to sidetrack a bit, uh, I've been yeah. through army in, in Singapore. I've seen those five month BNT, those fatty. Uh, well, they run uh, their kneecap pain, uh, all this. Uh, I, can yeah. die, uh, I know it's ridiculously difficult to lose weight. Uh, and I see your one, uh, I really salute you. <laughs> not easy, <laughs> I, no. seriously, not easy. No. For me, for me, in uh, 
in, in getting the right client through social media, it doesn't matter which platform you use. Number one, you must be able to communicate the, res the, the, the message, the messaging that your, your, your clientele wants to hear. You must be able to articulate it uh, to them. Mm. And when you catch the message, you catch the audience, you just need to bring the message to the audience. So in, in, in my approach, I mean, I'm not an advertiser. Can I bring up your page, your, your Instagram and you explain to us about sure. this thing a little sure. bit further? You know, can, that's, can. that's golden nugget over here. So I think can. we're in yeah. for a treat. Come, 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 let me bring it up. For me, for me, it's all about two things, lead gen and lead nurturing. Okay, lead gen only, and lead nurturing. Correct. Today I make a post on Instagram. Okay. There will only be two categories of people. Well, you only have one of line only. Really? <laughs> two oh, There's only, yeah. The first line here, it tells people what I do. Precise, right. clear. Okay. That's the first thing. Okay. So then every time I make a post, there's lead gen, lead generation and lead nurture. Lead gen is when they see my post, they contact me directly. That's a lead. Okay, so, lead. so let, me, let me look at the post. Huh? So how do you actually do that? Ah, check that out. Right, the way he composed the post is also very interesting. He actually go very straightforward to the thing that he does. Mm. And then the message is very clear, right? Your yeah. contact is not inside your bio. Huh? I'm, I'm surprised no. to see that. DM, no? good enough already. Right? That's all you need. Oh, okay. You don't need contact or DM. You cannot run away. Right? You cannot delete your Instagram account anyway. So, uh, once so they guys, see the transformation, they do no longer question your certification or whatever it is. Mm. The result. Nobody the question me. The result. Nobody self. questioned me. Until now, nobody questioned me about what I what uh, my qualification oh, because yeah. when they come to me, they know I what I can do for them. You can deliver. Yeah, they know what I can do to them. They know what kind of result I'm capable to deliver. Mm. So, so they come to me. Uh, to ask about pricing, if they can afford, they go ahead. If they can't afford, they'll be disappointed because why is it not uh, within their 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 affordability? You know, mm. like that. You see the way he actually composes it. Simply DM and the word how. You know, you just you 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 really tell them what you really want them to do. You know, that's it. Yep. So I think at the moment, your Facebook ads, if you are still running Facebook ads, is to get people to come to your page. I mean, your Instagram account, that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. So you only run traffic, lah. I, I run messages. Messages. Right, right, right. I run messages, messages. because I want them to DM me. Messages. So when I say IGDM, lah. Mm. Yeah, IGDM, wow. Power, man. Mm. I mean, that's, that's a very, that's a very good, good go nugget. And, and then after that, when how long usually uh, do you do you, do you do you actually keep track? How long usually they turn from um, so called an, an interest to really a lead or you know and to convert? How long usually it takes? I think I think this one depends on the the in industry that you're in. Okay. What is the time frame that the uh, the person need to follow you like to see? For example, let's say I take in a new client, for okay. example, and I announce it. Okay, this is a new client. They see that they see a training videos with me. Okay. And and there will be audience that are watching from my stories and my post. Or they say, oh, right. this guy got a new client. Oh, this is her. Oh, she's big. Then she, they will keep quiet. They might not um, contact me immediately. But three months later, I will post a transformation. And they remember? Uh, they remember. They say, oh, my goodness. She no, because they follow, and, they follow the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. me. Right. So and so they actually feed the information also. Ah, right? uh, Manfred, yeah. you gotta do something about this, ah, uh, Manfred, ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm talking about myself. Also, uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you don't That's do cool. you don't do as in uh, week by week snippets of video, lah. Uh. Say something about no. this guy, eighty, seventy-nine, seventy-eight. Actually, uh, you know, if for Instagram, the approach is if you do it formal, you lose the fun. Right. Because because people want things to to be you you can't guess what is next impromptu la. yeah impromptu so there will, there will be a large portion of my my contents is just like for fun like my personal life 
my clients, yeah. like little things. And when they consume, 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 it begins to, to build this equity in their in their heads. It's, it's, it starts to, it's like like the indoctrination, you know, you teach them, oh, this is like this. I'll be able to, I, I, I'm, I'm, I am changing the, the mindset towards uh, to think that my fitness, uh, my training philosophy is the right approach and why so many people are doing it wrongly out there and what is the result that you should be getting if you're doing it right. So over time, they understood what it's like. So when the I, right time comes, yeah? Yeah, yeah sorry, right sorry, comes, you The right time comes. Maybe when I'm hanging out, I am on good mood. So I just have a view and say, hey guys, I'm looking for just a few... Uh, three more ladies who are serious and their priority is in losing weight. If you think that um, uh, you need my help and you think you believe that I can transform you, send me a DM. We can talk and have a chat. Okay, la, I think the face also play a role. La, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine me doing that. I think everybody will run away. <laughs> so one question. Uh. So yeah. basically, basically, what you're doing is uh, showcasing uh, the whole process so a glimpse into what they are getting get themselves into. But I notice you don't mention the duration. I say example, if I'm 80 kg or 90 kg, uh, I want to They talk. don't care about that. The you, truth is that that's a logistic. You didn't mention two months, three months, you'll see results. Uh. Never talk about the logistics in your social media. What, Clients what? only care about the result. Mm. And the process, today, the logistics, today. you don't talk about it. How do, how do they imagine? If I don't, even... if I don't know what kind of result you're capable of doing, uh, of giving me, why would I bother about how long would it be? Hmm. Today, if you if advertisers, advertisers or tell me, you say, oh, I, I do one month, two months, three months. This is a payment term. This is how it's gonna be. You need to do this. I don't care. Yeah. What if I do all of that and I pay you, I invest everything, and I I don't get my sales. But if today advertisers can say, I know your struggle as a trainer. Uh, you don't know how to do copywriting. You don't know how to write uh, leads, uh, ads. You don't know how to generate ads. You don't know how to showcase your messaging. You don't know where to find a niche. But follow me. I have a program that I can double your sales. I can double your sales in how many months? Would you be interested? At the end of the day, entrepreneurs want result. True. People will buy in to the result. If you tell me that's a result, I pay 20000 I can double my income. I'll do it. I don't care how you do it. I don't care how long is the duration. I don't care what is the, the way you do it or the logistics. I care about the result. I think what we can pick up from Chunyan's conversation over here, like this guy is getting very high already. Like, huh? He's excited. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he has a very valid, super valid point here. First thing first, you say, let's, let's learn from this, this young man over here, right? Good looking young man, right? With <laughs> nice body. You saw that, like go and follow his Instagram now. <sighs> now, you see, the way he does that is, you know, he go very specific on what kind of thing that he's delivering. You know, so niching in. So he resonates what the uh, so-called, I mean, what, what Kenny was saying, niching in as in like, you really have to find a very specific niche. And then when you want to build something that is viable in the long run, I mean, uh, something that it would get you result, right? It's not really something that will happen. You see, like, remember just now, Chen Yin was saying, his first client, he actually spent three months uh, uh, doing it with one single client. And, and and I think along the way, you didn't get a lot of so-called new clients along the way or inquiries. No. You were just uh, focusing on delivering one guy, one 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 woman. One woman. But they, they, they came. Like, you you know, on and on, on and off. You know, with the moment when somebody shares uh, your profile, on sorry, or they mention you, the algorithm of Instagram tends to push you front push you front and drive and, and uh, recommend your stories to the the lookalike audience that may be interested to that kind of thing yeah, by yeah. your characteristic and, and someone's also, organic, yeah. someone. <laughs> it is you organic. Have to be super consistent no? you cannot be doing it for a while and then you off it you know it has to be consistent and we, continue right? it, consistent yes but honestly i didn't really put much effort because i spent most of the time in the gym I never really had a social media team. I never really had uh, planning. I never really understood about uh, copywriting. But you do have a lot of content. I think that's the thing that, 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 that's very important over here because for, for what you do, right, you have a lot of content that you can actually 
post. If you don't have the time to post on the news feed, right, which is you know the, the daily thing, whatever, posting on story is also something that is very important. So you keep posting it. I think that's what you have been doing. Yeah. You know, your post is very frequent. Very yeah. frequent. It's quite frequent. Yeah. Not 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 really the post in the feed, but your story is very frequent. Over and time. Sorry, over time, uh, actually, the 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 Facebook, the Instagram algorithm changed. At first, there was no stories when I started off. Yeah. When I started Instagram, and then there were stories. Started fifteen seconds, and then not many people use stories. But later on, now the uh, major influencers actually use stories to promote their stuff. Uh, they use so stories I think because spend more time on story right now. Yeah, like I rarely scroll my my you know on Instagram I rarely scroll up and down already. I just you know I actually rarely scroll Instagram lah. But when I go in, I check my story a bit lah because you know it's I know it's more lightweight and all that, yeah. and it's more instant, and yeah. it's more like uh, so called casual like what you say. You know you cannot just mm. script a lot of things just like scripting. Mm. So you just I think I think it's about the consistency and then you are able to generate a lot of content. Yes, Manfred. I I noticed just now we mentioned one brand. We let's don't mention that brand. Uh, their IG and your IG. Uh, I can see a difference. Yours mm. yours is actually real example that people can relate to. You see, I see the lady. I think I can be that lady. But that the other brand I saw is all the particular non-real people, very crafted images. Uh. Oh, I cannot so feel any relationship. I don't see myself. I could become. That, that brands are uh, all images uh. so okay. this one I, I actually intentionally do it because number one there is a huge gap between who i am as a man chinese mm. and my audience mm. ladies mothers mm. with children wives mm. in the 30s 40s 50s mm. and big size mm. no experience in trade so i can't be that super high fitness figure you know i it like so they yeah. are so un, i'm so untouchable so i'm trying to bring down the uh the, so that they the will feel that they, yeah. yeah they can relate with me i'm real you know i am yeah. the real person this is how i am on media this is how i am mm -hmm. in person and this is how you get when you you work with me mm -hmm. so people people buy into that real so when i ask my clients like when we were andrew when we were working uh, for the previous project, that's like he told me to do some homework, like some drills, to understand about my my clients. So mm -hmm. I, I will ask them like, why why did you contact me? Uh, mm -hmm. What made why you? Me? Why me? now? Yeah, yeah. Why why do you choose to DM me uh, for me to help? You? And they all say your your post uh, was real. It felt real to me. It felt that you're not. Um, faking someone that you're not you you, you really uh you, you show you relate to yeah you yeah, show yeah. your personality in your poses like in a way i think yes. that's what what she means yeah yes sir some of the ladies i think i can aspire to and i believe i can drop that weight up to that level you see uh, Manfred, just now, yeah because a lot, a lot of people like here over here i so sorry i forgot about the questions coming from the crowd uh, so <laughs> <laughs> oh my god sorry so, so in terms of our private chat already i forgot about it yeah, I keep running okay, okay, okay. Let, let, let me go through from the very beginning first thing first gy said manfred terror ah, okay then uh is saying you only <laughs> serve ladies damn this guy very excited lah. And, then, uh, <laughs> and then he was saying that uh okay you're like the movie 300 pounds beauty the doctor uh, uh probably okay. like, now you understand better that this guy is actually doing a very interesting thing and vincent was saying <laughs> what an interesting business mission but i agree that the mission is very and the laser focus on one thing is also very important which you know and then we will bring back to chiwai's latest question over here right you're talking about how you craft your ads something mm. that's showing guarantee in terms of whatnot that's why you see uh, Whatever ads that he does, uh, he only need to do one thing to get people to bloody click over to his Instagram account. Uh, mm. That's it, you know, because it's not about the ad anymore. It's about the fit. When you go what's on the, the, what's the creative, what's the creative? What's the creative? Um, we cannot share here, lah. But we shared it once during the JIC. Awesome, I tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. And, and my framework. Uh, actually, I follow Jason's two-step framework. Simple. Mm. Full stop. Mm. Two-step right framework. 
that's all. Okay. And and uh, uh, but I tweak a little bit to messages, and then my 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 T two, my T two would be a photo of me. A photo of me, <laughs> uh, and I'll say I have face. help. Yeah, someone face, and I'll say uh, uh, these are these are these are things I do. My mission is to help ladies, and why am I doing this? And I continue to want to help more people. Send me a DM if you need help. That's all. Very yep. straight and simple, clear call to action. Because yeah. you see, another thing that we talk about this during our training over here is that it's about understanding your action funnel. You see, a lot of people when they want to do lead gen, right? They bang on the lead gen. Like, How come the lead form is not working? How about the cost of leads is coming up high? How come sometimes I get this and all that? But you see, when it comes to lead gen, right? Lead form is yeah. not the only way. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many other ways. That's why yeah. when people drill in on one specific angle and then they get always get their mind F inside this on, on, on the angle itself, right? I it kind of it kind of like I, I don't don't really understand. But what Chun Yen did was really uh, the, the right thing, which is you know you want this, but you find the best way for your people to take the action. Which is in your case DM uh, because most of your audiences are coming on Instagram. Hmm. Mm. Right. So yeah. so yeah, that's a, that's a that's an awesome thing. Thanks, Chi. <laughs> I just say thank you, Chi. Now, uh, uh, okay, I want to bring out the question that we have prepared. In fact, we haven't brought up any question up. We have not the question. <laughs> what have you been? Oh, what have we? <laughs> oh, okay. oh my god. Okay. So okay, let me see all the questions. Uh. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Now 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 let's go more specific on the thing that we wanted to discuss over here, lah, which is. So very much similar to what you I was asking. Facebook has a lot of restrictions on the ads. We, we don't need to show the ad, you know, but can you actually roughly give us an idea? How do you bypass these so-called rules when it oh. comes to creating your creative? Your tier one, uh, you don't need to look at T2. T2, we understand that you show your face. Now the T1, what do you do with T1? T1, uh, what worked for me is a, a story-based based ad 15 okay. seconds. I also got it from Jason's advice because you did the, uh, you did the, honestly, you did the slide, right? Four slides. You say, keep it simple. No point wasting money to uh, do a video and then you spend thousands to do the ad and then nobody view it, you know? So what I did was I only took four uh, casually taken videos, cut it into a few seconds, link them, and then just put a uh, few words in each slide, make it into a sentence that could, that could uh, connect with my audience emotionally and deliver the result to uh, uh, send the message across what kind of result I can help them. Just one, one flow like that emotionally, like, you know, this is how you feel, it's hard. And then, uh, but you don't have to continue like this. If you take action now, things may change. Then I, 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 will, I will clarify it on the, on the caption. This is a personal training program with uh, nutrition, with this, with that, with that, with coaching, with this. And if you think I need help, you need help, then we can talk. So the 15 second, add some music because my audience are ladies and they have to be emotionally engaged with my post. Okay. And I have to speak out their pain. I have to speak out their, their, their frustration. Like, I understand you. You don't have to go through this anymore. Take action now. Uh, this is the help that you've been looking for, but you didn't know. Something like that. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. I've seen the ad. Lah. I mean, I, we won't be able to show you. So, you're, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it's really <laughs> awesome. But, okay, let me say this. He bloody did before and after, but he did it so well that Facebook algorithm cannot notice. Awesome, right? Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Super so what, awesome. What I know is some people actually do an arrow. La. They do oh. an arrow and it pass. La. It can work. La. No, I think okay. the, the, you don't if you look at it, confirm can detect one. Yeah. No, if you look at his ads, it was genuine in the sense that it actually, it wasn't deliberately trying to push you that before and after. It was basically sharing a story of people that's going through that that pain of, of the weight mm -hmm. and they have to go through that struggle. I mean, any one of his Instagram posts can be easily converted into an app. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree with that. And you don't have to do some high product because the higher production, it looks very, uh, it oh, looks very fake. 
you know. Yeah, so, yeah. so if you just take any one of these posts and then show them, because the moment they see the image, the moment they see the exercises that the person is going through, they would, they would then immediately there's this relation of you know, they would be able to relate that what they're going through. And if your if your ads, if your ads looks like a, a normal Facebook post, ah, uh, mm, people will yeah. really Correct. You see, the thing, you see, remember before this, we were talking about the before the click and after the click. You see, I want to bring it up again. Maybe if you have not heard this from us, right? We, we all agree to this thing. Advertising is not selling. You know, you don't sell on the ad itself. A lot of mm. people try too hard to sell on the ad itself. But no, the advertising is, advertisement is really to help you capture the intent. And when mm. the intent happen, you need to focus on the next step, which is either you want people to talk to you or people may actually spill over to come over to watch, to see your Instagram account and all this kind of thing. And when they go over, you need to prepare all the so-called persuasions and all that things that you need in order to convince them that they're good, that you're really good at what you're saying. So yeah, after the click, well, it's uh, after yeah, the I mean, it's definitely after the click. You see, nobody would actually see your ad immediately. They ask you, oh, can, I, can you send me the link to buy Noma? They will, take, they will click over to the next step. Either they talk to you or they go to the website and they mm. actually will do the transaction and all this kind of thing. It's always after the click. Yep. That's why essentially what Chunyan has done, everything right in his framework, I would say it's already a framework over here, is that you know he has he has a very clear idea on the journey that he wants to build for his audiences. And then he actually makes sure every touch points are you know are done in a way that engages mm. these people in the right so way. Exactly. So awesome, right? So I think that's the framework that can be applied to a lot of businesses, in fact. I think mm -hmm. in your case, your the moment they DM you, your conversion rate is already pretty high, isn't it? Uh, I would say... It's either they cannot afford it, either they cannot yeah. afford it, yeah, or yeah, yeah. if, they, if the, that money issue is off, then, then there shouldn't be an issue already. Correct. I think your conversion I, is quite high. The truth is that I have tried many, many frameworks. Andrew, you know that. Uh, mm. Jason knows that, all right. Uh, many, many frameworks, but what worked for me at the end is, you know, when I try to drive people out of the platform to a different one, I lose the lead. Mm. So I, I don't try anymore. Cultivated, cultivated. Yeah. Yep. Correct. So when I when I drive them to the to the website, I will just lose them. It, the The whole feel of that thing, it just something gets the, yeah. yeah, the experience is gone. You know, so I try to keep everything. In the in the 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 Insta, uh, Instagram message, and then I convert it to an in-person touch, so I can bridge the gap immediately. Mm. So they can see me immediately. They can feel my my. They can they can uh, they can yeah, experience okay. me in person. Yeah. Then, yeah. Okay, yeah. next step. Yeah. So I want to dig deeper on this part, Junyan. Can you share with us? We see when it comes to messages, right? A lot of people have this perception where. You know, do you mean that when you, when you bring people to DM, you actually do closure on DM, or no. you would you would you would actually, you know, when they DM you, you would do your best to convert them into an intersection call. You try to I, shorten whatever conversation in, 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 in. Yeah, I always uh, fix a call with them. I think that's the thing because you see, that's uh, also uh, another okay. mistake. That's uh, correct. That's also uh, another mistake that a lot of uh, so called advertisers that I noticed that they are making. Uh, you see, uh, mm. you you work too hard on reply messages. Correct. <laughs> I, I've been through that, Jason. Yeah. Because they won't understand, they won't know it. <laughs> I try. Yeah. And and you they'll feel that, huh? How come did I tell them to do a call? The moment they don't reply, they ghost on you. Mm. So you will feel, what's wrong? Did I, did I do something wrong? So I've tried so many, many, many ways to I try give number, answer their question. You chat with them, they ghost you. You give them contact number, they ghost you. You give out the price, they ghost you. So and yet they DM have, you in the first place. Yeah, yeah. So I decided cool. that if you don't proceed, then you're not the right fit or you're not nurtured enough yet for me to mm. rip you as a client. Mm. So you stay there. I won't reply you. I'll focus mm. on those who are ready. Awesome. You but see, the having said takes a lot of courage over here. Yeah. And I have a messaging framework that you, I'm, they must follow. Let's say they say, may I know the price first? I won't reply. I will say, I can't talk about price unless I figure out what you need. If the first stage, you can't even follow my, how, why do you want to talk about coaching? <laughs> Don't talk about coaching when you can't even do the simple. Yeah. 
yeah. you can't yeah. take instruction then talk, talk about coaching. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't even understand what I write over here already. Uh. How can I talk to you? You, you so, pop off the guy you go on. Very funny. Like, oh, it's too deep for you. Yeah, mindset is very funny. Sometimes you, you will be frustrated because you spend, you invest money to Facebook for the ads. You generate the lead and they come in. Hi. Uh, <laughs> then hi. Call back. Uh, this is the same old story for property and insurance. Call uh, back, no bother, pick up, message, yeah. no bother. Ah, so wrong number. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Say, how much? How much? I want to know the price first. How much? I mean, this is not a uh, pasaraya. So you want to know a negotiate price, you go to someone else. Don't come to my place and waste my time. So this so is my very, approach. Yeah, I think that's, that's a very important thing here. You see, same thing, Ma. I mean, Manfred was saying, a lot of people, when they do lead gen, right, they focus a lot on those people who actually don't reply, la, you know, mm. ghost on you and all this kind of thing. You see, that's why I always like to say, you focus on the wrong crowd. Mm. You should mm. focus on those people who are natural, the right people. Mm. Which is how do you bring enough people to come in for you to pick enough right people for your business to thrive? I think that's the bottom line. Yeah. Mm. Right. Uh, so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 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 So another thing that I've learned uh, throughout this period is, uh, I've been doing it without actually voila. But the thing is, when you don't have a system to sell, you are then help ransom to the system of your potential prospects to buy. So now, because the way they want to buy uh, their system, each one of them is different, you know. But mm. if you don't stick to your own system of selling, that means you have a structured way, that means you do this, then you do mm. this, you do this. Although even around. the temptation to jump straight to the closer, uh, but if you follow that process, you trust the process, mm. the closing rate or the quality of the customer is definitely higher or better one. So true, yeah. so true. I think essentially for every business is to find that framework that works mm. for you. Like mm. same yeah. thing, a lot of people came to us and say that, Jason, can I, can I, like Chihuahua was asking <laughs> back then, Jason, can I pay Ringgit? Ah? But, I mean, now you have to go through the thing, right? We have yes. to actually, it's the process that you have built up, then you have yeah. to trust the process. Yeah. You know, yeah. and if the people don't, not even willing to go through the process, then essentially maybe they're not ready yet. I think it's fine. Mm. Yep. yep. So true, right? I think this is so awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, and, and and I want to bring up the next question that we have over here. Now, this what is are the other questions? One. <laughs> yeah, this is just the second question now. Come on, man. We will, uh, okay, la, we'll still make it at 11. We don't want to drag people. So yeah, let's say, okay. what, what are the other challenges that you face and how do you tackle them when it comes to the whole process? Now we understand the framework that you have. Mm -hmm. And it's really, like you said just now, you are, you are doing, you're thriving right now. You know, you're, it's <laughs> awesome right now. Seriously. Yeah. But yet again, what are the, you know, if, if there is still any challenges that you face, what would you mean as of now or the ones that I have, I have a handle? I mean, yeah, back then, I believe you have already tackled, but you can actually talk about it a little bit, but oh. you know, back then or, or now, anything. Mm, uh, back then, the first one we talked about it was the, uh, the ads. How do I, how do I do a transformation? <laughs> how do I do a before, after and run an ad? No way. So I tweak, turn around, turn around and get the message across. Second one is the framework. When the ads takes off and I get DMs, <laughs> nobody, nobody responded. Money is spent, nobody respond. No messaging framework. So I have to get the right framework. And then I have to get the right sales process. So from the messaging, I have to, the messaging framework should only serve one purpose, which is to bring the, the lead to the next step, which is the sales framework. So, and then it has, it has to be a very streamlined sales framework that can uh, turn the, the, the lead to a paying client. Mm. So now the challenge would be, how do I consistently generate uh, contents, engaging contents that continue to speak to my, my audience, my followers, my, my, uh, uh, people that view me uh, by prospects and uh, create more DMs. It's it will so, be the content generation. How do you how do you how do you plan to do this? So I will I will really spend time to I will I'll plan on a scoop of um, topics that I will run through, and these are the topics that I need to be able to reach the clients uh, emotionally. Talk about the pain points, talk about their issue, and then 
uh, relate with their with their pro with their with their situations and uh, address their issue, articulate their problems to them, and uh, give a glimpse of how I can solve the problems using different different postings and different different stories with when different different. To, okay, so when it comes to your poses, I realize one thing. You know, you are actually very. You know, a lot of people will have these kind of frameworks that, you know, out of 10 posters, you should have five who are articulating, another five who are really like selling. But in my opinion, all your posters are selling. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have a very clear call to action for every single one of the posts, whether you are showing your face, you know, other people's face or transformation posts and all that. Every single post, you have very similar call to action. Yeah, because, yeah. because I believe in what I do. And wow. if I'm not aggressive, in telling people my message, then I'm doing them harm because they're gonna give the money to the surgeons. Right. So, so if if you are you think that my posts are annoying, don't follow me. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, you follow me, then you have to consume my contents. I like and that. Eventually, I, like that. I will yep. turn you into my client. Because eventually, you see, if you look at Chun Yen's, I, everyone, please uh, go and follow Chun Yen. Let me bring this up. <laughs> you know, this is his Instagram, King, King from Zion. I mean, uh, okay, I think what we can learn from his Instagram is really this. Uh, when it comes to the visual part, he has the mixture. Okay, of course, he plays from different angles. Some show his face, some show his other things and all that. Some show his clients and all that. But essentially, when it comes to the messaging, because those people who care enough and read are those people who care enough you know, and, and might take action. So you have a very consistent and strong call to action all the way without fail. Every single post has it. Yeah. Like you say, if you, if you tr truly believe in what you do, it's going to help people transform. Why would you want to hesitate? You should actually tell people what you wanted to do. I think that also applies to advertising as well. You see, I was just, you know, we were talking about this during the six day challenge whereby a lot of people try to, you know, go a little bit subtle, you know, and all that. But I think you should you should have a very clear call to action when it comes to the messaging itself. Yeah, I think I think that's yeah, I think that's a that's a very 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 good takeaway. Now, uh, let's bring up. I think okay, like, let's make this the last question that we have over here before we pass it over to Manfred to talk about the website of the week because uh, we want to try to stick because last week went a little bit long. <laughs> yeah, it was really long. <laughs> half hour but it was really so good and this one is also very good you see this is the beauty of the three market ratio although we chat like just chatting just now but so much golden nuggets that we managed to dig out from the guy that we talked to you see so if you are <laughs> you see if you look at the whole thing it's totally applicable to so many businesses you know whether you are a personal coach or you are like you know business coach or whatnot right or you go into a specific niche especially when you go into specific niche this is a story that you should consider looking into. But Chunyan, how do you expand your brand awareness? Uh, what are the other things that you are planning to do? And, you know, like in order to expand, you know, you were just talking about how do you get consistent, you know, whereby the framework on Instagram is already stable that you're doing. But beyond that, what are the so other I, things? That I, I, I will explore. Content, put it in FB or YouTube or... Yeah, I will, I will explore different uh, platforms. And uh, one of it uh, I'm working on with uh, would be YouTube, uh, YouTube, and uh, um, just I will just focus on reaching more people, and uh, really focus on the content in bringing uh, out the message to nurture the followers. So when they view my my profile once, I might get people follow me. I may get people save my posts. I may get people remember me, and then I may get the algorithm to reach the other people, uh, the people again. Then I will just need to focus on what would be the next post that can touch their pains, that can uh, bring out the the solution to them, and with a with a clear call to action on how they can uh, connect with me, quick, fast, immediately. So the education side would be like quick. Uh, uh, this is what I'm working on because. Like Jason said, <laughs> every post is selling. <laughs> every post is selling. So oh, why not? Now, uh, now I will go into maybe more values. Talk about my 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 delivery of service. How will it, how would I do it? And then more talking, and then continue to generate a lot of different transformations. 
a lot of amazing transformation from the new clients, new batch, that consistency. And uh, every time I post a transformation, I get more than 20 DMs. Wow. 15 to 20 DMs. Uh, and the closing rate is high. It's high. So the DMs. Transformation is still the thing, but you can't run ads on it, but no problem, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I won't run ads on transformation because the transformation is the content that I will show my followers only. Mm. Uh, I think that's so, the key. Yeah. So I will run a general ad for people to come in, but then when they scroll through, they will see the things that will hook them in. Mm. Right. You just want yeah. to introduce your your universe to them. Right? And the, the moment they're there, it's up to them to do their own discovery. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You yeah. have to trust, you have to trust the people. So yeah. you only scared that they don't make the first step only. La. Once they make the first step, everything Correct. is in place. No, the first step is to know him. The moment they know him, then by virtue of going through the content, it will then filter out those who are interested or those who are not. Yes. So but to those who have the pain, they will mm -hmm. continue. La. Mm -hmm. Normally the hook is when people lose weight, uh, drastic, drastic weight loss, uh, and then people will pay attention because they wanted the kind of result. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just remember one of the challenge I faced recently was uh and I was I was I was doubting my my sales framework for a second because I begin I got so many books of uh coach uh sessions, coaching calls, like uh, my consultation. But these are the people that that are actually not my ideal clients, they are like they are they're not my avatar. They are mm -hmm. ladies, but they are not my ideal people that would take up my service. Mm. They want to lose four to five kilos. Uh, they want to lose four to five or six kilos. They're not in need of my service. Mm -hmm. So, so when they're not in need, they will they will not uh, pay that amount. They don't need to pay that. You have, you have. You don't have, you don't have. That kind of mindset. But mm. my ideal clients will be those who are really in need of, yeah. of my help. And really those, who want to, those who want to lose that vanity weight one, those those are very likely that they won't follow through. Yes. Yes. When you have deep pain that you really seriously either you lose that 20 or 30 kg or you're going to end up in the doctor's table for a surgery. Those that are the people scary. who will die, die, will go and go through the, the process to actually listen to you. Exactly, Andrew. Exactly. Right. That's a challenge. Right. Yeah, so awesome. I filter that. So yeah. in the in the call, they also have to fill up a form. <laughs> they yeah. have to fill up a long form. Right. And one, of the, one of it is, what's your weight? Why do you want to work with me? Correct. Why now? Yeah. How serious are you? How committed are you? Are you the, are you the main decision maker? Mm. Are you in a position to invest? Are you ready, willing to invest I this, amount, <laughs> uh, this amount uh, to, uh, in order to achieve your goals? So yeah. say yes, 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 yes. We know that mm. we're in for the pay, like that. Yep. Because oh, see, Junior is in a in a situation where money will not solve the problem because it requires a certain level of will, power, and also that persistence to continue with the program. You you can if somebody goes to you and says, "Junior, I've got money, I want to pay you, but I may mm. not be able to attend this some of these classes or whatever it is." Uh, then you're not mm. going to go in. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. That's true. You just, just want to remind me of what Andrew has just mentioned. Uh, you are like the Louis Vuitton force people to queue up. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that the thing yeah. is that it's not that we want to make them queue up. If you give them some loose space, they will take an inch yeah. and they will take away your energy. Why do you want to focus on people that uh, don't appreciate me? It will make me doubt my business. It will, it will drain my energy. They are not happy. I want to serve people who are happy, people who are willing to pay me, and people whose help or whose problem is big enough and I'm able to solve them. Yeah. So, so these are people that are right me, yeah. And I want yeah. to give my full attention on, on these clients and they will be yeah. happy. They will appreciate me. So yeah. that's the clarity, the yeah. clarity that this guy has on his business and all that, the whole thing. I mean, that's, that's really... You, you sure you never take marketing? <laughs> Come again? Previous life. Previous <laughs> life. <laughs> 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 the 
that's that's a very important thing. Is that's what I admire about this guy, the clarity that he has, and and he is just a lot of people when they go niche in, right? They worry about the number of sales, the number of clients that they have, you know, the money that they can make and all that. But sometimes we worry about too much too soon. But this guy is very focused and. And the when, truth is that, Andrew, uh, sorry to cut you, Jason, when you are a specialist, you get paid more. Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. So you, and but specialist is not built overnight. No? Exactly. Yeah, it cannot happen just like three months that down the road. Why, that's why the strategy for my Instagram post is social proofs. <laughs> heavy on the social proof. Yeah. Super heavy. Super heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just to add a few things, uh, uh, the, the part on the audience, uh, I, I can't remember, as usual, I can't remember what I read. Uh, normally, I think it's something, uh, my education one, 3% of the parents know their kids need tuition. 15% knows their, 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 their kids uh, can do better. If, if you educate them, they do not know that their kids need tuition. So, there are different tiers of all uh, the then the others is totally out already as in maybe they uh do not need tuition so there are different tiers of audience uh, that's one thing you clearly identify really just now mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. if the audience is not right then no point spending time on that the other thing is i really like the cta part because a lot of time it's just like youtube uh, a lot of time people see finish a video or oh, like that, but you never tell me must reach out to you then i never reach out so the audience mm. is like shit. Uh, you must really tell them, hey, you want this, this, is this. You must do this, this, this. Uh, mm. But tell them up in the face, then they will carry out. Yeah. Uh, I'm one of them also, lah. True, true. What well, awesome! So much golden nuggets. So much golden nuggets. But before we end, uh, we are ending soon. Yeah, too soon. But Manfred, you're you're up. No you're wow. Okay, let so me share my we, screen. What are we gonna talk about today? Uh, we have uh, we have readable, readable, right? It's readable, readable. Yeah. Oh, you want to share a screen? No, no, no. Uh, uh, you, you share a screen because you need to play around with it. I have no, no clue. But I would actually post this into the comment section. You go on. Uh... Any more questions from the group, uh, from the audience? No. Chiu, I upset already. I told him. So Chiu, I run away already. <laughs> oh, you see uh... hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me bring okay. this out. Yeah, this is something like Grammarly. I'll keep it short. Because honestly, I, I didn't really buy this thing. I, I was I came across this thing. So it's more on your your, your languages, where you can mm. put in the text scoring, website readability, your files. Mm. A lot of fun things uh, I, I just come across. Readable. Okay. Yeah, readable. So it's a, to, to help you make your content readable, or what? Yep. The whole now, let me go up to the Test your readability. Yeah, but this one you need to pay yeah. You need to, so she mm. can take a tour. Basically, <laughs> the idea is whether your message is understandable by a seventh grader or not. Ah, yeah. that's so important. So you place your text inside there. Yep. See all the help you navigate thing. Right. right. Scores and issues. Yep. And right. then they'll tell you in terms of emotional, how emotional are your words or, mm. or, or and all the things are basically uh of your, of your sentences. Correct. Yeah, uh, then you go to yeah, I probably should go and test my new landing page copywriting already later on. Hmm. Yeah. That's all? Yeah. Nothing much. Yeah. I just, just I didn't try this, but I found this is something if you don't like Grammarly, you can try this one out. Thank you so much, Manfred. You yeah. know, this week finally awesome. you do your job. No, just kidding. Man. Because oh. last week you were complaining that you passed it over to Andrew, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Andrew is more uh, suitable <laughs> for last week's uh, job. <laughs> oh, this day I'll get Chiwai to do my job. Uh. Uh, Chiwai, Chiwai, Chiwai is ready for another round, right? I think Chiwai can actually come over. But today, really, we learned so much from Chun Yen. I mm. think the whole thing that he shared is already becoming like something that you can. And and, and he was so generous to share so many details uh, in terms of how he execute every single part of it. You know how yeah. he actually do the ads to bring people in like the journey he was he has so much clarity in terms of you know he knows that the ads itself is not going to help you convert he wants just want to bring people in and then after that you know you do your your, your social proving on your place like what kenny mentioned last week right your your social media presence is your new name card absolutely yeah. true 
Yeah, yeah, it's your new name card. Whether it's your YouTube channel or your Instagram account, it, that's your new name card. So that's that's the thing that you should co focusing on building on. And when you are actually having this name card, right, the consistency is really it's not a question anymore because this is where you want to build your credibility along the way, right? Mm. So when 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 you have a framework done, but of course we've been through the whole process a little bit here and there, lah. The framework is not easy to be found. Even though you learn how to run ads from 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 the end, you know, from the very beginning, you know, and and bringing in the new the right audiences and all that, you know, to test the framework and all these things still takes some time, mm. but it's definitely worth the time and effort to find out because that's your business, mm. all right. And and one of the most important thing that we learned from Chen Yan today is about his clarity, about mm. his business vision. That was sorry, business mission, and and and, and what he wants to do, and that would actually help you throw away a lot of so-called self-doubt and all that when it comes up to, to the point of the type of clients he wants to work with exactly That's important. That's exactly important. exactly so much clarity so much golden nuggets thank you so much Tony. you thank know you. we really learned so much from you today but guys any anything else that you want to ask <laughs> yeah that's what i was saying and how he execute my two step funnel exactly right i have to you know, one of my best students over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I think really we overrun a little bit, but we don't want to drag this further. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Chun Yen, for sharing with us today. Thank and you. then uh, this is the Three Marketer Show. If you're still watching with us up to now, whether you're watching the replay, uh, remember we go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. And uh, you want to make sure that you hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel or, you know, to follow my Facebook page because this is where we will go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. So next week, same time, uh, we're going to come live again and uh, we will be releasing the, the so-called topic and the, what do we call the guests when we come nearer to the day. Okay. Yeah. I just want to give ourselves a little bit of flexibility in terms of like when we get drifted off of uh, doing something and all that, we forgot, you know, but yeah, next week we will see each other again. Thank you so much. At Chun Yen's day, we will go back to the backstage and guys <laughs> say goodbye to everyone. Thank you, Ryder. Thanks for watching the Three Marketer Show. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to share if you want. And uh, good night. See you next week. Good night. See you next week. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.